Hey everybody, this is Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems, and today we're going to go over how to build an IT help desk using Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Power Automate. The way it's going to work is you're going to get a message into Power Automate from Teams. So just by mentioning someone, uh, in this case, we're going to have just mentioning anything in the channel just for ease of uh, making it. And then what that's going to do is it's going to come into Power Automate. We're going to create an item in SharePoint with status open. Then we're going to reply to that message with ticket open. Then once it's approved in an approvals part of the flow, then we're going to send it back to Microsoft Teams with status closed. Pretty cool. And it's going to be super easy. So can't wait to show it to you. Let's go. So. Diving right into it, we're going to have a Power Automate tab open. We're going to have a SharePoint list, just a simple, easy SharePoint list. All we're going to have is some generated columns that are already there that you just need to show, which would be ID uh, created, that's the time and date, and created by, who is created by, uh, issue, and that's just a single text column. We'll show that right now, just single line of text. And then ticket status. You can make yours much more elaborate than this, but this is will suffice for this. So we're going to go back into Power Automate, and we're gonna. This is a general flow of things, and then we're gonna go and create it from scratch to make it easy. Let me turn this one off real quick. Okay, and okay, let's go skip. And then we will click Teams. Teams should be right here. And when you click it, it'll pop up with a few triggers. The trigger we're looking for is when I am mentioned. Uh, actually, it's not. Because I'm the only person in this Microsoft Office 365 tenant, I'm going to use when a new message uh, is added. I'm going to go and find the YouTube channel going to go find I'll just put it in the general channel you could put it in whichever channel that you would like in your team where you would maybe have like an IT help desk uh, team and then have everybody belong to it and they would mention uh, you know IT in there and then we'll get a SharePoint connector going so type in SharePoint and then create item We're going to choose our list, our SharePoint list. Just have a test site and then tech help. From there, we're going to add some parameters in here. We'll just say the title. Um, actually, we're not going to use title. We'll just use issue and we'll have uh, message body content. And then we'll set this ticket status to open. Then we'll add a team reply and type post, reply to a message. We'll add the team. Again, it's going to be YouTube channel and then general and then message. One thing specifically, your flow will continue to fail if you do not add message ID uh, of the message that was sent. It's going to extract the ID from the message then reply back to that specific string of, of numbers. So we'll go message uh, ID. We'll look for it. Here we go. Unique ID of message. And then we'll say we'll put in ticket. That's not how you spell ticket. There we go. Ticket number ID, create item ID. So that's just the ID that we showed in the SharePoint list right here. It's just a, uh, it, it, it adds an ID every time a number or a rather a item is submitted to the SharePoint list. So we have ticket ID, post reply, and then let's check a few things. So next we're going to add an approval. Okay, and we'll say 
start and wait for an approval. If you just go create an approval, it'll go all the way through and it won't uh, wait to be approved and we don't want that. So we'll ask for first to respond, approve, reject, first to respond. We'll say the title is um, IT help. We'll say it's assigned to me. And then we'll, as the details, we'll add issues from our SharePoint list create item. Oh, added that two times. Okay, and now we're gonna add another SharePoint item. This time we're gonna update our SharePoint list. And then we'll just simply type update. Update item. We'll choose the test site, the list name, and then the ID. And this is going to be the ID of the item that was created so that we know, hey, this is this number in the list. And we need to update that item, not create a new item or anything like that. And then we'll set this to status closed. And then lastly, we will copy from the clipboard this post to reply and go down here and you can see it copied it a few times. And then we'll have ticket status. We'll have these few things. So remember the message ID is important to have and that is the ID of when this message was created. And so what we'll want to do is add closed so that we know that when or the person who submitted the ticket already has it closed. We'll set our trigger here. I'll perform the trigger action. And it is in a waiting state. We're just going to say test. It's going to run to the first part, post a reply, and then start and wait for approval. OK. We'll get a message there. And then we'll see IT help requests, right? Very cool. So let's check that help request out. And we can see in the details that's our issue. Very good. Then we'll hit approve. Not add any comments. You could add comments if you wanted or do something. You can put conditions based on the approval to go here, there, and everywhere. And then we'll just say confirm. And what that's going to do it's going to finish the flow out and reply with ticket closed. So this is an easy way to automate part of the IT help desk and keep track of these requests. You can add in all types of different functionality uh, and just make sure that when you're creating your own, you can make it more specific so that when it's in this phase, let's go back to it. When it's in the first part, instead of having this when a new channel message is added, you could say when someone is specifically mentioned. So that would narrow it down to not having a bunch of flows triggered based off of people commenting in channels and such. And it would just be when IT is mentioned at itcompany.com. When that person's mentioned, that would start the flow. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you need any help with deploying this within your organization. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.